Welcome to Stanford University's inaugural three-minute thesis competition. It's a privilege and an honor to bring us all together to celebrate graduate research. Imagine your brain and body as musicians in an orchestra. Usually, they're perfectly synchronized. In Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, though, some instruments gradually fall out of sync or stop playing altogether. Imagine being able to track your brain health as easily as you can see your daily steps or even knowing your heart rate activity right from the comfort of your home. So we asked, why, why did you want to participate in, in this event? And actually, there were, there were a lot of similarities in, in, their, in their response. And what they, what they basically said was they really love the work they're doing and they're, they're very proud of it. And it's exciting to get to share it with a large audience like this. Practically speaking, my thesis work helps us to understand a potential opportunity to improve the lives of breast cancer survivors through early identification of lymphedema. In 1872, medicine was revolutionized. The Russian Empire opened the first formal medical school for women. Letting women become doctors transformed medicine and saved lives. I'm a plant biologist, and to me, one of the most amazing facts about plants is that their bodies are built mostly out of air. The heft of a tree comes not from the soil, not from the rain, but from carbon dioxide that's pulled in from the atmosphere. Mining lithium from traditional rock and water sources is typically very chemical and energy intensive. Even with battery recycling, recovering one ton of lithium product can generate up to 10 tons of chemical waste. Amazingly, the judges and the audience were of like mind because the grand prize goes to Faber and Reeves. <laughs>